Hey everyone, how you doing? It's uh, it's at night, and I'm here at work, and um, I have a project I have to work on here. And what I, if you don't know uh, me, I, I have another YouTube channel. I actually have two of them. Uh, one's a beer reviews, and another one's a walking sticks. On top of this one, and if you wanted to check it out, you can check out just uh, you YouTube. Or Google search Eric Stickmaker, and it'll it'll take you to my my channel and stuff. Um, but I made a walking stick. I don't make them for people anymore. I would I would make them for people who didn't know they were getting them, or for veterans posts, and I would donate them, and um, and give them for like veterans who needed them for walking and stuff like that. Well, I made one last year for for someone that worked here she she mentioned that her mom she found out that I made walking sticks and she mentioned that her she looked for one for her mom because her mom was really short and had uh, canes and walkers and stuff she inquired about a, a walk make a walking stick from Amish people and she says they wanted too much so I felt you know that I could make her one free of charge I ain't gonna charge her for it or anything so I started working on one and I got the dimensions like how tall she would about need it and everything like that so so this is what I come up with I carved all this out and I stained it darker but this is the this is the, the walking stick that I made her it goes all the way up it took uh, over 20 some hours I can't I can't even remember anymore uh, and the leather the the top part is twisted twisted suede leather and the, the top part, there was a crystal ball I bought at a uh, at a place called uh, Waterfire Sharon. This guy sold like balls and stuff, different sizes and stuff, and I, I bought one, and it was like eighteen dollars. Well, I, I I put it in here, and I made it. If you ever falls out, it doesn't break. And sure enough, it fell out. It didn't break. It just fell out. So I can I can reattach it. So her name's Robin. Well, her her name still is Robin, but I'm gonna change it to a. Uh, to someone that gave me a, a few ideas for different things, walking sticks and like uh, my aluminum pipe walking stick, if you wanted to watch that one, um, I was just going to leave it plain, but she said, how about polishing it and make it shiny? And I was like, oh, okay, I'll, I'll try that. And it turned out really well. She gave me a couple ideas for different things. and uh, So I was like, you know what? I guess for Christmas, she got herself a Fitbit. And I was like, I think she would, I, I think I would like to give this to her. So what I have to do is take that name off. And put her name on there, and I printed it out what I want to put on. Her name's Sarah. Uh, so really, just a really sweet, kind person. You know, you you can't find these people every day. You know, they're they're really nice people. And how I'm going to attach that onto that is what I'm going to have to do is grind this off. I'm going to take this off, <clears throat> and I'll show you how I do that with my with my Dremel. I got everything set up here. I got a, a uh, you can't see it. Let me let me get it here. I have a Dremel 300 series. Uh, you can't really catch that, but if you go to this store like Sears or something, you can buy them. Uh, it's like sixty dollars. I got a flex shaft. This it connects to it, and it's easier to to carve. And um, on the on the end of my flex shaft, I got this chuck I bought. It's like a, instead of taking apart and putting a, a collet in there. I can just it's like a drill bit it's like a drill you could just put a bit in there get it to where you want it and just tighten it down you don't have to use a wrench or anything I think finger tightening it grabbing it and twisting it and then I got my little bit in there it's a it's a carving bit and I'm just gonna take that name off there so uh, so I can put the other name on there so <clears throat> I have to uh, work on that I'm gonna try to keep it best I can in frame so Bear with me. You don't have to go too fast. All right. Just carve it off. Don't worry about the finish or anything like that. Get it down to where the other. Where it's level with this. You can always clean it up later, so. 
you take your time. I could use the standing drum, but I'm not going to. Just a little bit quicker. Look, if I use this bit, it'll be the same texture as around there. And that's what I want. Well, I got the name all off. Now, all I have to do is uh, work on the other one. Let me show you how, what I'm going to do here. I went out and bought another stick. All these are, are wood dowels. Let me zoom back a little bit. All these are, are wood dowels, and I paid $5.99 for this. And what I'm going to do is, I have her name. Uh, where'd it go? Okay. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is cut the name out and I'm going to put uh, carbon paper behind it and I'm going to put it on this, put it on here, tape it on there and take a pencil and then write in and it'll transfer it onto this stick. So, and then what I want to do I'm going to have to go out and carve all around that, and the bit I'm going to use for that, these are my bits here, I made a little case for them, no, that one's a, and the bit I'm probably going to use, I'm going to use is this one, I, you could see the tip on that, that's round, that's what I'm going to use to go around the letters, and, and then when I get it all carved out of there, I'm going to have to, to cut around it, and take each letter out, and then glue it onto this one and then uh, finish put the finish on it so the next step is to transfer it onto the stick I got a card cut out this is uh, carbon paper for typewriters and um, I'm gonna cut it slightly larger than what I'm gonna need or slightly larger than the name I'm gonna put on there so There you go. There's that part. It doesn't have to be perfect on here because I'm going to carve it out. And I'm going to make sure it's tight. And then do the same with uh, the, the top part. I don't want it to move around when I'm working on it. So if you go over the words just a little bit, that's fine. Because you can push kind of hard right there and transfer that right onto that. So now I'll take a real sharp pencil and pencil that in and it'll transfer on there and then I can start carving it out. I bought these uh, things for my eyes so you can get, they're magnifying things, they got two different sizes on it. And sometimes you need to get real close to see what the heck you're doing. I got these at Hobby Lobby for like $30 and they work very well my friend who has an electronics business he has some that are even stronger than these and I was like holy cow so just take your time because you don't want to have to print the thing out and everything again all right now I'm all done I'll show you how to how it looks. And if I can probably if I can peel it off, jeez, the tape is really on there. And as you can see. That tape is on there, man. There. There we go. So now I can uh, just start carving around that. And uh Take it out, to pull it out of there, and uh, glue each word, on, each letter on. It's going to be kind of hard, but you know, a little bit of time. And uh, take your time there. And you'll get it out of there. Now you start carving it. This bit is an 005. I think you can buy them. It's a Dremel brand. Make sure you have sharp bits. A lot of people say this chuck wobbles, makes the bit wobble. Mine, mine's fine. 
Mine doesn't wobble at all. You're going to go farther out from it, the line you want to carve out, and then slowly work your way in. The bits are around three or four dollars. Take your time because you screw it up. You're gonna have I mean if, if this was even a walking stick I was working on, if you screw it up, you're those old sticks, you're gonna have to figure out a new stick. So you have to be really careful. Take your time. So what I've got done is I've worked on it and I got her name carved out on it. It's not very thick. You can see on the back part, I carved it out from around. I have to keep sanding it down to get it to the thickness that I need. And then uh, <clears throat> hopefully it's the same shape as the stick I have to glue it on because I don't want no gaps behind it. The S and the A are gonna have to be two separate pieces because there's nothing connecting them to. But as like, like I said, when I sand it out in the back, it'll slowly, you can see through the A's and stuff and that's what I want. So I put it back behind it, or I'll put it on the stick and then uh, we'll be done. But right now, I'm going to carve out, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to sand around it and just get it a little bit thinner than this. This is way too thick to be uh, putting on there. I don't want it raised that high. So I'm going to work on that with the sanding drum. And uh, these are some of the bits I've been using. I, I got these at Harbor Freight for $10. There's two sets. The other set is is much thinner than these. I can't use anything down past the purple ones because they just snap off. They're too thin. I don't know what you use them for. I don't know. But uh, like I said before, I'm just going to sand it, sand it, you know, thinner and get it down to where I need it and then I'll cut them off and uh, I'll glue them right on there. In this step, I see I got her name all carved out. I don't know if you can see that very well. Uh, let me go over here. So I got her name carved in there, Sarah. And uh, what I'm doing now is I'm carving out around all of it, and I'm going to take this off, and I'm going to glue it onto the stick with where I need it. I got the other name carved off already and I'm gonna I might have to sand it a little bit to make it a, the same shape as the stick so when I glue it on there I won't have any gaps in between uh, I was gonna carve out that S a little bit more but I was afraid it would break off so I'm gonna keep that all intact until I get it I glued it on there and then I'll uh, I'll sand it down to the to the thickness I need it so right now it turned out pretty good. I'll clean it up a little bit more after I glue it on there, but I just have to go around with uh, my one bit. It's a, it's uh, this bit right here. It's a, it's square. I don't know if you can see that, but it's actually square. So it, it carves out pretty good around, around there instead of the rounder bits. But uh, I'll use that and then I'll carve out around it. You know, that's all I gotta do. And then uh, we'll see we go from there. Hopefully it holds together. Well, I finally got it done. I got her name taken off the stick. I glued it on there. I had a little bit of trouble. I had to put some more glue underneath the one side and tape it down. But uh, this is it right here. Her name is Sarah. And uh, I decided I carved around it and I sprayed it. And um, it didn't look, it didn't match up. The colors didn't match up. So I just ground off all the way around and I sprayed it again and I got the ball on top. I bought this ball at Earthbound Crystals. I, got, I think I paid, what did I pay, $18 for it? Uh, you can go to Earthbound, earthboundcrystals.com and you can see all of their crystals and stuff like that. They sell bigger ones, they sell smaller ones, they sell huge ones that are like solid. They're a really, really nice website. Check them out. And uh, this is the whole stick. It's done. I actually have this stick finished 
at, uh, at my other channel. I'll put a link in the description below where you can go check out how I made it from start all the way to finish the, the various steps and uh, there's some other sticks on there that I've, I've made as well for different people and stuff like that. I don't make them for people anymore. This is the very last stick I'm making for anybody because uh, the person I made this for never contacted me or anything about you know the stick so I didn't know if she wanted it or whatever happened but I, I, took, I, I, I done this for Sarah because she gave me a bunch of good ideas and uh, she gave me another good idea for a stick I'm going to work on for myself and uh, but this is for her I'm going to give it to her tomorrow and I hope she she doesn't know she's getting it so I hope she likes it and uh, she can put some miles on this so uh, that's it and thanks for watching